Welcome back. Um, yeah, it's been a while since we last played on this, uh, and so the Shogi Wars Management Office has published two features about this note, or two announcements or notices about this feature that they call note. Evidently, there's a, uh, well, this is linking to note.com slash Shogi Wars. Not super familiar, but apparently they published something somewhere saying, um, one of these had something to do with how you do tactics in the opening. Another one is having to do with a new shogi proverb or maxim with coloring of pieces. I'm not sure I totally get it, but uh, yeah, this uh, Shogi Wars team is always doing something new and exciting. Um, I don't really see how to access the new information from here, but maybe somebody could clue me in at some point. In any event, uh, let's get started. Let's play some 10 minute Shogi Wars. Uh, let me flip my display to this one over here. Still using Vivaldi browser. 10 minute game. Uh, if my connection's stable, it appears to be. Yeah, we'll start a game. All right. And I guess we'll go back to playing Central Fall Rook. Hopefully I can handle the pressure this time, and if not, well, hopefully we'll learn something from it anyway. <laughs> Just as I say my connection is stable. Any second now. Good luck. Yeah, that is a bit noisy. Let me turn the volume down a touch. Here we go. Central Falrook. Boom. Central Falrook. Oh, where's my avatar? I turned off that avatar, apparently? Alright, well, pretend you saw the little avatar thing. I'll have to fix that F. Oh, there we go. Here's an avatar. I guess the way I played this is not up to the normal standard of how you usually play this thing. Okay. Wow, we are seeing some aggression here today. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do about that. That's aggressive. Um, let's meet aggression with aggression, I guess. And protect the bishop and try not to accidentally fall for a fork like I've done a few times before. Alright, there's the signal that they're playing uh, this opening, so... Rapid attack might be kind of difficult at this point. But, um... Hang on. Before I fully commit, let's give my king a little breathing room. And then try not to panic too much as we get under attack. Um, yep, yeah, that makes sense. So we're going to prepare the sacrifice on the edge and hope that it works. Because, like, what else should I do here, right? So knight's going to go up, knight's going to go up, knight's going to get sacrificed, and everything's going to work just fine without even the slightest hitch. Nothing could possibly go wrong in this master plan. Um, all right, well, that's all the hyperbole that we need. Um, really not sure how we could draw up any more drama here. But, yeah, the knight's gonna have to sacrifice itself and we're just gonna hope that I know what I'm doing. Because there's not a whole lot I can do other than this one attack. So we're going to do it and hope it works. Um, and it's going to be great. There we go. Mm -hmm. I don't understand this move. Oh, it's attacking my Silver General. Okay, now I understand it a bit better. Um... I forgot I have a pawn, don't I? Probably could have done something. Um, 
It's a bit late now. Okay. So stuff is happening. I guess we'll take here. Cause like again, I don't really know how to do this. Uh just push there. They don't have a pawn in hand, so we've got two pawns in hand. We'll just keep mowing down the castle with the lance and the pawns. Actually it looks really simple this way. Uh just kind of interesting. Alright, stick a pawn over here. Like, I feel like I've missed something. I don't know what it is that I could have missed, but... Something don't look right. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Guess we have to take the bishop now. So we don't want that, both attacking our king and defending their king. Uh, stick another pawn out here? Sure. Why not? Have I, like, solved Shogi or something? Like, this isn't supposed to be this effective. Something's not right. <laughs> I just don't know. Alright. Sure. Let's bring the king out of the corner. No objections here. Uh, do, do, do. So... Mm -hmm. All right, my rook is not very happy here. Let's just put it over there. Why not? Mm -hmm. Stick the lance here. Like, this is my big idea. I think. And if they put a lance in front, we stick a pawn, and, like, we've got more pieces attacking. Right, so the lance goes behind in this arrangement. But that... I think that's kind of vulnerable. Am I misreading this? Alright. So I'm threatening to promote the bishop. I'm also threatening to take the lance. Like... Have I... I feel like I've missed something. And no doubt every engine ever will point out, like, what the heck's going on, but, um... It seems like something's not quite right. Um... I just can't imagine what. Okay, I guess we'll take this, right? And then get the lance to move forward, get the knight to move forward, and just have some fun tactics, right? I am so confused what in the world just happened here. Because I've not seen this attack ever be pulled off this way, but I had two pawns in hand. And taking here got me another pawn, so... Something happened this game. <laughs> Long thinking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Long thinking seems like an accurate description. Like, I did some thinking before this move, and they're doing some thinking after it. And I admit I don't understand everything, but I have, like, some idea what's going on. A little bit. So I've got this night drop, right? Um, so they got a lance protecting another lance. I don't think this is what they were aiming for. I've got to imagine they had something else in mind. So, like, there's holes everywhere in this position, right? I mean, yeah, they've almost rebuilt a Mino castle, but also I'm attacking other stuff. Um... I don't think my material sacrifice was that terrible. I don't like that this silver is kind of effective defending backwards, so maybe this is what I missed. Or maybe at some point I could have taken this silver and magic tactics to solve everything. I'm not sure. Um... Hmm, completely ignoring that seems to be a blunder, so I can't completely ignore it. Unless I have some really strong blow, and I don't think I do. So let's go forward here, and if they attack with their silver, I can sack the rook for a lance and a silver and some kind of an attack. But, yeah, they have a lot of pawns now. Oh, there's this too. That's slow. Why would they do that? Oh, they're trying to promote their rook. That makes some sense. This might be wrong-minded. I'm not sure. But if silver takes, I can take the lance and then take this silver. And, okay, admittedly, I don't have my knight anymore. But this... I don't know. I'm super confused. Like, I thought I solved Shogi. Evidently, there's still more work to do. I say that all in jest, of course. Shogi's a really complicated game. You can't possibly solve it this easily. Alright, is my mic working? It is, in fact, working. Um, yeah. I don't get it. My attack is much faster, but I have no pieces left. So, that's kind of an issue. Um... Not sure how much of an issue that is. So we're taken here. I'll take one of these, I guess. All right. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Do I just give up on my attack? Or do I keep doubling down on something that's just not going to work? I think I have to give up on my attack idea and try a different idea. Um, I 
think something like this is necessary. Maybe I should have taken this gold general. I missed my chance there. Uh, yeah, this is not doing that much. Um... Okay, let's remove the silver general from this vicinity. Still contemplating the sacrifice for a gold. But more so I'm trying to like make way that if I could somehow force this other silver to move, something could actually happen here. Um Clearly they should just attack at this point and forget what I'm doing, but um, uh, I mean, how did they do that? How can you just blithely ignore, like I've done, <laughs> what your opponent's up to? Um, okay, I see. Nifun. Yeah, 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 Nifun. Yeah, I hear ya. That's okay. I don't understand this position. I think I have to take this? Which seems so dubious, but, like, I think I have to. To give myself one free tempo. So it'll take him more tempi to get another piece close to my castle, so that's why I did the sacrifice. But they might do dragon take silver, or I might be completely hosed. Um, let's take that. Let's see if or how they respond. Okay, they do respond. Um... Stick a pawn over here, see if or how they respond to that. This is all setting up for me trying to take this gold general over here. Um, interesting. I guess we're luring the king back this way. Um... This is confusing. Sure, why not? All right, that's an aggressive king. Gotta respect that. Um... Yeah, I'm confused. Gotta keep moving. Ah, <sighs> so confused. Uh, let's take one of these. One of those. Sanjubio. I'm super confused by the- oh. Thanks for the game. I am no longer confused. Uh... We might have to share that one on Shogi Sunday to ask what happened. That was interesting. 
Okay. Well, hooray. Alright, good luck. That's a nice avatar. Yeah, I think somewhere I missed the memo about, like, how you're supposed to attack or defend or something. Um, I mean, it worked, but something seemed a little bit off somehow. Um, Alright, how do you do Mino again? This way, and then the silver moves up. Um... What are they doing? All right, so... So we're set here, right? Or have I fallen into my opponent's trap? Since they've finally built their castle here, I can't... If I do opposing rook, there's no shot. On the other hand, um, their silver is misplaced. So that's kind of weird. Um, I mean, yeah, they could aim for the head of my bishop, sure. That's a possibility. Every single time I worry that I'm going to mess this up. So, uh, probably half the time I do get it wrong. But, uh, I worry about it all the time. Even when I do actually play things correctly, I'm still worried. Alright, so... There's no silver exchange happening, so I'm fine doing this. And then I could... Now that they've put their knight here... Um... My head hurts. <laughs> uh, now that they've put their knight here, what's going on? Um, oh, the knight's the target. That's right. So we just push this and win. Okay. A swindles what happened last game. Okay, yeah, that very well could be. That very well could be the case. I'm not denying that. Alright, let's just do this and then use our bishop. And win? Question mark? Alright, they defend the knight. Um... Yeah, we just pile up all this pressure, start attacking. We've got Mino Castle built, so now's a good time to attack. Especially if we could get a knight and start hitting some of this stuff. But yeah, we could even drop a pawn on the knight's head and just get the knight basically for free. Or, I'm sorry, we could exchange a pawn for a knight. Um, but like... Okay, yeah, that exchange opportunity is denied. But I just take the pawn now? Like, huh? I could even retreat the bishop if I really wanted to. Because um, they're not... I don't see any immediate threat in this position. Other than my threat to push this unopposed pawn and then start taking everything. I see that threat, but... Um, okay, so yeah, they're trying to use their rook. That makes sense. Um, at least nominally it makes sense that they want to use the rook. So...
Uh, I want to use my rook. We've got that much in common, that we both like using rooks. Okay. Ah, the Elmo castle, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. And then we just go back, right? And they want to use their rook, but desire and ability aren't the same thing. So... Um... Okay. Like, yes, yeah, stuff's going on. Yeah, there might be a bishop drop somewhere in all this insanity, but I'm not seeing an effective bishop drop. All right, this does force my rook to move. That's well spot. Well, it doesn't even force that if I sack it, but I'm not super motivated to sack it for... Um, Initiative, I guess. Um, okay. I feel like I've missed the boat. Kaboom! All right. Well, that was fun. We've taken a night. Um, this is such a weird game. Um, could use the silver to hit the rook. But I want to promote my rook. Let's offer a rook exchange. Alright. Sounds good to me. Let's take one of these. Let's take one of these. Alright. Um, I missed an opportunity, because I was having too much fun. But... Okay, well that's scary, but thankfully I was... I've not given them a night. Uh, so Go take, take one of these... Thanks for the game. I have picked the right hour or day to play games. All right, let's play another one. I think I've just gotten very fortunate. All right, good luck. All right. Here we go. We've won three in a row. That's kind of crazy. All right. Central file rook, you never let me down. Um... Okay, let's play the YOLO opening. Um, I'm not sure that pushing this pawn so far confers any advantage whatsoever, other than confusing the opponent. Um, it looks quite aggressive, for sure. But I'm not sure it actually confers any advantage for me to play so crazily. Yeah, I'll just drop back. And get the hell out. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, yeah, continue running. Um, make sure my king has somewhere to run at the end of all this. Dive into our half Mino. 
And I'm still trying to think of how to attack here, because... Okay, so they're castling this way, of course, because that's... the rook's on the other side. Um... Yeah, we'll just build this. And prevent this knight from moving out. You thought I was playing central fall rook. But really, it was third fall rook all along. Classic bait and switch. Alright, so... um, Alright, so I guess let's defend our center. Play the full Mino castle. Oh, they can hit that with multiple pieces. I should probably like pay a little bit more attention to what they're doing. Just in case some of the tactics don't always work out like this one does. Paying a little bit more attention might serve me well in the future. Um... Right, so they get the vanguard pawn because of my ridiculous opening. But I think that's okay. Um, right. You know, if I... <laughs> you think I would see this coming. After all the other times this has happened, you'd think... One of these games, I would actually expect such a tactic. Um, interesting. All right, screw it. Let's do this. I don't care. Take my pawn. See if I care. I do kind of care, but I also kind of like my attacking chances here. So... I'm playing way too aggressively today. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Kaboom! You got my bishop. Full play. Oh, hey, look. Uh, my silver attacks two pieces. So uh, we'll take this one. All right, that's as far as I read. Uh, probably should have read a bit further, but it looked really promising. So, how bad could it be? Um, in fact, like, what can their bishop do here, right? Nothing supporting the bishop, so let's just move the knight out of the way. Yeah, I'm playing way too aggressively, but... Um, Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It always benefits you to read, because then you'll have some idea what works and what does not work. But um, occasionally you can be fortunate. So if you like gamble every game and play these ridiculous attacking, or I'm sorry, very aggressive attacking ideas and haven't necessarily read them out to their conclusion, sometimes that's okay. Um, not always, and not often, but sometimes. Alright, so they have a bishop protecting their other bishop, which seems a bit odd to me. Like, what's this other bishop going to do that the first one's not already doing? Um, on the other hand, my rook, I don't know. This is all confusing. So I could drop a pawn here to hit the rook and start a long-term attack, or I could drop a gold here to exchange the gold for bishop and knight, and then start another attack. Um, it's not clear what, to me which is better. I kind of like the pawn drop idea, because it's kind of different. Um, if I drop a pawn, they move the rook. I could drop a gold, and we exchange golds. I can drop another something here. 
they don't have a gold general protecting the king anymore. That could be interesting, but I'm running out of pieces. Um, yeah, I think I should... I don't know. This is hard. I think my rook's not doing very much, and regardless of what I do, I should take this bishop first. That way I have a lot of pieces to attack with. But then they get a rook to attack with, or defend with. So, I am so confused. Um... Yeah, I want to do this. I don't know where it leads, but it all looks very interesting. Aggression pays, uh, although sometimes it's met with even stronger aggression, which pays even better. So you have to be a little bit cautious. <laughs> you have to like know if you're outmatched. And be willing to back off sometimes when you're just completely outclassed. Uh, here I think they just take my knight. I take their rook and crazy stuff happens. Alternatively, they could do bishop takes gold. I take rook takes and then I start dropping pieces and attacking. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of meeting aggression with aggression, yeah, there you go. Um, did not think that would happen for so many reasons. That doesn't look right. Um. All right. What's this rook gonna do? Is he gonna take my palm with the rook? Like, it looked a little bit scary, except now I've got a pawn back here. And, like, none of this attack seems to be going anywhere. So I'm not sure this is the right square for the rook. Alright, so now we get a bishop. And, gosh, we have multiple bishops. What do we do with bishops? Uh, I guess we promote them, right? Um, so there's a bishop drop. This is the extent of my reading. I saw this and I'm like, well, I can't find a good move for my opponent here, so this has got to be okay. Um, possibly I completely missed something, but it looks like I'm hitting the rook. Looks like I'm hitting this pawn. I'm also threatening to promote and hit the knight. Um, so they have a silver in hand, so if I drop the other bishop here, they probably block with the silver general. Um, yeah, it looks like things probably calm down a bit. Um, uh, I don't know, man. Given them a tempo somehow. Um, we're going to try to reclaim this tempo with some pretty aggressive moves. <laughs> This probably is too aggressive, but like if they drop a silver here, this silver is way far away from their king. So if I take silver takes, then their king's a bit more exposed than it already is. In fact, well, no, a silver drop here just loses it to gold takes, but um, also if they drop it here, I could run away conceivably. 
but I don't run away very far and my bishop does get trapped. So I'm just basically offering a sacrifice here to speed up an attack that might not work. Uh, this is actually pretty sketchy the more I think about it. Yeah, I'm not sure why I did that. Other than just really feeling like I wanted to play some macho move. Uh, so I could protect my bishop. Um... Yeah, this uses my silver, sure. Yeah. It looks... Oh gosh, my other bishop's trapped. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, rip me. Okay, so... I got carried away. That's not good. Alright, what do we do now? Um, what do we do now? I don't know, man. I got way carried away with this attack, and it doesn't work at all. Um, well, let's just keep taking stuff. That seems to be the MO, right? Took a thing, we took a thing. We got a silver in hand. Uh, that's better than not having a silver. Um, can't place the pawn, can I? I can place it on that file, but that's no good. Um, I need another piece to attack with. Alright, we've got two silvers in hand. Here we go. Mission Impossible. Dun, 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 It ain't happening, but let's pretend for a second that somehow I can make an attack happen. Uh, all right. So we're hitting this uh, gold over here with my extremely convincing attack. That's definitely going to work and not going to fail. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do I even start to make progress against this thing? I don't know, I have to like push this pawn on the fourth file now. Basically I'm out of pieces to attack with. I think they recognize this too. Okay, but now I've got a piece all of a sudden. So yay? Question mark? What? Excuse me. Nihun. Check. Check. All right. Um. Yeah, I've evidently picked the right hour of day to be playing games. I don't know. Like something's up right now. I promise you, I've not bribed my opponents. I I don't know what's going on. Um, like even with that recent change here, I doubt that I doubt that really impacts the uh, result of this game at all. But it's a chance I didn't deserve. So I'm starting to threaten the square that the knight can interpose on. Because the next idea is that I either want to capture the knight, or I want to check with the bishop and then promote the bishop on its way back. This pawn controls the square that would fork both rooks if I were to put the bishop here. Um, but since the pawn's there, I can't exactly do anything there just yet. Um, so now this knight didn't need to move, but it has moved now. 
So let's play an attacking move. So we're hitting the knight and the lance in the corner. Um, threatening a bishop promotion. Right. Um, Eep, boom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear you. So... I guess we'll just run this way. We might need this piece. We block a knight drop because I'm terrified of the prospect of a knight drop there. Um, here we go, Jaimino. Super late Jaimino. <laughs> Not that it matters. Um, 30 seconds. I missed that because I wasn't paying enough attention. Uh, good gravy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on anymore. Ah, oh, shit. That's not good. Jubil. Yeah, okay, we could resign this with a clean conscience. Nicely played. Well done. Um, yeah, I got a bit carried away. Alright, like I was saying, you have to keep... You actually have to read out the variations or stuff like that will happen. So, we did win uh, one game. Uh, we ended our previous live stream with a win, and we won two in a row today. And I got very carried away by having three wins in a row, and went on this mad attacking spree, and totally deserve the result that I got. So that's entirely fair. Uh, we'll hope to do better next time and best of luck to my opponent and their journey to rank up as well. Um, yeah, they deserve to do well too. So hope you all enjoyed. That was quite exciting. <laughs>